We are still in an NBA lockout, yet there you see him on the very right of your screen, Andre Kurilenko dancing. I would be dancing too if I made $17.8 million for being a mediocre basketball player. Hopefully you dance better than that. That translates to like two over $200,000 a game last season. And that, my friends, is why we're in a lockout. So welcome on Inside Voice of the Nation Fast Break alongside Kevin Figures and Jason Riley. My name is David Brickley. First and foremost, you got to like and subscribe to this channel because if you do, you could be a winner just like our boy Sebro. I think I pronounced it correctly now. Sebro from Poland won that Andrew Bynum DVD. I don't think anybody, any listener could have been happy for winning the prize. So congrats. Shout out to him, a longtime listener. And then this show, we're going to give out a Jerry West, West by West uh, book that's really been all in the news. Uh, a lot of good stuff in those pages. So all you got to do is like and subscribe to this channel and you automatically enter to win. That being said, housekeeping out of the way, fellas. What bigger news has there been the last couple of days than the ESPN rank who has ranked Kobe Bryant, the number seven player in the NBA. I'll go down the list here real quickly uh, from Kobe. Kobe's number seven, Kevin Durant at six, Dirk Nowitzki at five, Chris Paul at four, Dwayne Wade at three, Dwight Howard at two, and LeBron James. Kevin's at boy. Number Not my boy. <laughs> Not my boy. So many issues with this list, personally. Uh, I'm what's sure. your guys' take? I think this is a traffic grabber, first of all, by ESPN. Clearly. I mean, you got the lockout going on, and I'm I, I'm sick and tired of talking about the lockout, and I think everybody else is. So they throw this out it there. It is gratifying that they talk about something other than the lockout. Yeah, they so put Kobe seventh on the list. They got Carmelo Anthony not in the top ten. I mean, they're just trying to draw controversy from every angle here. Yeah, my biggest gripe with it, we, we've talked about the top five here, the top seven with Kobe Bryant. I'm going a little further down to the top ten, and Carmelo Anthony, I believe, is 12th on the list. Below Pal Gasol Bla- and Blake Griffin. That's why, why, why I have a big Blake issue. Why is Blake Griffin with. number ten? I have no clue. The guy's clue why on Sports the Center. You know, he throws down yeah. miraculous dunks, but he's not a top ten yeah. NBA. He's player. a great athlete and he's an excitable guy, but top ten player in the league. Are you going to go that far? Wow. I mean, ahead of ahead of Carmelo Anthony, a guy that's led teams to the playoffs and, before. And I've said this in previous episodes. Dirk Nowitzki is a very fine NBA player, but if it wasn't for this last playoff run, I mean, some people probably don't even put him in their top ten. Oh, uh, I mean, some he's might not. Unbelievable. Think- don't get me wrong. He proved a lot of people wrong in this playoff run. But Jason Terry, I mean, Tyson Chandler, those guys, Jason Kidd, they helped him as well. It wasn't like he put them all on his back. Dirk Nowitzki now a number four player in this league. He's better than Kobe Bryant now after five championship <laughs> rings. But, again, he got hot for two months. That's my whole issue with Dirk Nowitzki's position right. on this list. I mean, yeah, he, he played great in the finals. He played a great playoff run. But throughout the course of his career – no way most analysts or most people around the game would have him as a and top And that five has player. to be the criteria for this ranking because there's no way on planet Earth that you rank Kobe Bryant number seven overall unless you're pretty much only basing it on I'll being just, swept by the Dallas Mavericks in the second And this round. past season. I mean, this is blasphemy. This is yeah. absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And I, like, I, I like Dirk Nowitzki. I was one of his biggest attractors about a decade ago when he first came out. thought he was soft, and I think he's progressing. He's gotten to be a better player. And I keep him in the top ten, personally. I don't think he's that far off of no. the top five. But I wouldn't put him ahead of Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant still played a great series in that series against the Dallas Mavericks. People forget that. His numbers were spectacular. The rest of the team didn't show up. So that's the problem that I have with, with, the, with the listing here is that Dirk Nowitzki is an excellent player. I love the guy. I think he's a great player. He, he really shook off a lot of demons this past right. this past season Agreed. by winning a championship. So he does deserve to be around the top five, but there's no way in hell it should be ahead of Kobe Bryant. I and agree I, with you guys on that one. And I don't think Darren Williams – I mean, Darren Williams, he's a good point guard. You know, Obviously, he's done a lot for that franchise. But four spots better than Carmelo Anthony? Yeah. That's crazy to me. I mean, Carmelo, yeah, he's in New York. The, the Knicks struggled last year. They didn't have a good playoff run. But is there a better scorer in the game than Carmelo Anthony? Probably not. And the only real knock on him is probably what he does off the court, and he's not a real likable guy. But as far as a basketball player, he's as good as anybody in this league right now. My argument with that as far as Darren Williams go, I think Darren Williams is more of a complete player than Carmelo is. If you're looking at the complete game as far as assists and defense and scoring and all of that, I think you're probably they're probably taking that into account when it comes to putting Darren above Carmelo. So I'm really I'm not really I don't know taking if you too can put much. Carmelo in New Jersey instead of Darren Williams, I think he changes the you know the the complex of that franchise more uh, than Darren Williams. I don't Williams know. Did. With that roster this year, I don't know who you would have put on there. That but that Carmelo is a, a game changer. I mean, in the NBA, exactly. if you have one great superstar, you can get in the playoffs. And I think Carmelo Anthony in the New Jersey Net uniform would probably do that. Right. I don't know. Superstar level. I don't Mello know if Carmelo is a me. superstar. Well, you don't wow. think Melo is a superstar? Wow. I think he's an all-star. I think he's a star player. I don't know if he's a superstar player. Can we? Okay. Wow. Superstars are top five players. And neither of you guys said that he's a, that he's a top five player. You guys say he's a top uh, ten player. We'll get to that. Hey, but listen, the biggest concern for me... <laughs> 
Obviously. <laughs> yeah, shocker, right? Is I can imagine. number one overall LeBron James. This is unbelievable. First, we all know he can't close. He's an absolute choke artist. He can't shoot free throws. He doesn't shine when the when the stage is the brightest. Nine seasons in the NBA. He is who he is. Sorry, you can't. So was dark, right? His you first can't. You cannot be number one on anybody's list if you can't do something as serious as being able to be clutch and and close for your basketball team on the biggest stage in the finals. Look, if that's the I mean, like only the only detraction, and I agree with the you on only, that as well. It's like having a quarterback not being able to throw the deep ball. I mean, I you, you got to be far. able to do this. I wouldn't be that far. To I, be the best in the game, to be the number one overall player, you have to be able. To meet but this I criteria, says, I, I would disagree in the sense that there's a lot of guys throughout their careers that we look back on and say were really good or even great players that didn't close. That's and they're not why the best, make, are they? Are they the best overall? But that's why we that's make why such Michael a big Jordan's deal. That's why we make such a big deal about guys who can close because it is a rare commodity in the NBA. That's why Kobe's so great. And, and that rare commodity so would farther. put you number one overall against a person that cannot accomplish that, that it doesn't have that skill set. I'm not agreeing with him being number one on the list, but... I don't think it's Kevin. I'm not going to say whether he's one number one or not. All right, uh, we're going to get but. to our personal <laughs> top five list, and then we could debate on that. But again, uh, the guy's been in the league for nine seasons. He's you, know, you guys still say, oh, he, maybe he could uh, learn it. We I don't, don't know. know. Dirk Davisky just did, so it's like it's, it's impossible to do. Listen, I mean, if 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 you're dating a girl and she's only cheated on her boyfriend nine times. She's a cheater, right? Oh, really? I'm not going to If you're, if you're a guy that's that only committed nine crimes in his life, do you consider that person a criminal? Sports are as circumstantial seasons, as anything else. It depends on who you have around you as well. We have to take that into account. All right, guys. So we don't agree on <laughs> anything. One through five, there's not one player that both of us agree that a player should be at a certain spot. Right. Uh, we all believe Kobe Bryant's a top three player. Uh, we all believe Dwayne Wade is a top three player as well. Right. Uh, other than that, it, we're all over the place. So... Anything that uh, stands out to you? I got a lot of things, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave it to Kevin Figgins. Well, the number one thing that stands out to me is the fact that LeBron James is not on your list at all. He doesn't make it so on top wh- how I, What I want to know, I think what everybody wants to know, if, if LeBron's not a top five player, right. which is crazy. That's absurd. Where does he fall on your list? LeBron just misses my list at number six. Uh, and Right there with Dwight Howard. Well, Dwight Howard's number <laughs> seven. Again, I think we have to have a criteria where – I need one year to win a championship. I'm not going to start my franchise with Dwight Howard. I'm not going to start my franchise with LeBron James. I'm not going to start my franchise with Chris Paul. So, you start, so, 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 so you're telling me that Carmelo Anthony can lead a team to a championship before LeBron James can? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, he's a better scorer. And again, wow. I think it's un, it's it blows my skull every time I hear you talk how little <laughs> importance you put in the clutch gene. Because and that's in the one quarter, aspect. It's one aspect, but it's the most important aspect of winning championships. And How what are you trying to do in this too? league? What are you trying to do in this league? Win NBA championships. So if, I, if I'm at the GM and we start from scratch and we have a fantasy draft, I do not start with LeBron James. He's probably I, six Outside of this year, David, name one year where LeBron James should have won a championship. And he came close this year. Can we, give me a team, a team where he was supposed to win a title. All those teams in Cleveland, he should have won the MVP based on the fact how, on how bad Cleveland sucked this year. Look how bad they were when he left. He was the only but component you, you on that team that made the You even said that he didn't have enough help in Miami, which just totally blows uh, blows me away. <laughs> but no, no, he played with another great player in Miami. I said the team around them could have been better. But they still, even with that, they still went to the finals and were a couple of wins away from winning. Brickley, so, I, I agree that he doesn't put enough emphasis on clutch play. You. I agree with that. But I think you overemphasize it way beyond that it needs to be because you have way Kobe. Kobe passed his prime by a couple years. As still Here, the best okay. player Kobe Bryant, in the Kobe Bryant NBA. has definitely declined. He's definitely declined. Right. But here's my thing on Kobe. Kobe was here. Everybody else was here. The gap is closing, but Kobe's still above them all. Again, I tried to get Kobe out of my top. top I still don't believe player. you. I swear. That's where I really don't. But believe again, you. I'm looking at it. I only need one year, one game, one quarter, one shot, and Kobe wins in all those. Name one thing. Okay, LeBron James. What? He's a better rebounder than Kobe. Right, six foot eight, two hundred and fifty pounds. What else does he do better on the floor than Kobe Bryant? Uh, he passes the ball better. Okay. I think he's a. You go disagree with me, but I think he's a better defensive player. And you no. said he's not a good defensive player. Kobe Bryant's a better three that. point shooter. He's a better free throw shooter. He's a better clutch, uh, obviously clutch player. And the and the and has won championships has shown that. Um, again, with better talent. Around so LeBron him. James is a better rebounder because he's six foot eight. He's a small forward, and he's a better passer. I'll give you that. Better passer, better that defender, better, better attacking better the Kobe basket. Bryant. Better attacking the basket has done more with less throughout his career. Oh. What else? Do you, oh. Yeah, how many times did he play with Shaquille O'Neal when Shaq was fat and old? Again, here we go. 
You can, I mean, okay. every, he, every, he never had a number two as good as Pau Gasol until this year. Every and NBA, he lost to a better every team. NBA championship, Kevin has had two great players. You're right. And Kareem how many other great Magic. players has he played with? Dwayne played, Wade. Yes, for one season. Did Kobe Bryant win a championship every year he played with Shaq? I don't think so. Okay. So he's going to win seven times. I'm not, you know, no. I'm going to let you guys do the whole LeBron do. Oh, we can do this all Because I'm somewhere in the middle. But Kobe, right now, I love Kobe. I'm a Laker fan first. He's not the best player in the NBA. What does Dwayne Wade do better than Kobe Bryant? Name him. Go. Let me ask uh, you this question. Go. For 48 minutes, would you take Kobe Bryant I'm or taking Dwayne Kobe Wade? Bryant. I'm sorry. For I'm 48 taking minutes. For 48 even minutes. Even after what we saw what is, last what season. What does Dwayne Wade do better in minutes two through 18 than Kobe Bryant does? I'm actually going to agree it. with David on this one, too. I mean, I think, honestly, I think offensively they're pretty comparable. What put him up, Kobe Bryant over the top for me with Dwayne Wade is that I think Dwayne is a very overrated defensive player. Thank you. If more than anything, he's the one that attacks passing lanes and gets steals. He gets victimized well, constantly. You turns think, the ball over all the time. So would you say that LeBron James is a better defender than Dwayne Wade? Yes. That's crazy. Yes. No, it's not. all Kevin sees is a sports center when he steals the ball. No, he steals the gas. Break away like you don't see. He gets highlight blocks. When has he ever shut somebody down over the course of a series? He says Never. Derrick Rose. Never. He shut he down Derrick, Derrick Rose, Rose in the Eastern Conference Finals. He if you don't believe me, down. then watch it. Watch it. Go back and watch it, please. Watch like it, 25 Jason. points. So how do you shut someone down off these scores? I, now, I don't know all the numbers, all the stats. I remember thinking Derrick Rose played really really well in the Eastern Conference. He defended finals. him in the last couple of minutes when it mattered, which is the clutch part, which is all that matters. He locked down Derrick Rose when it mattered the most at the end of basketball games, and he has the ability to be a lockdown defender when he needs to be. Dwayne Wade does not. That's why I have LeBron wow. over Dwayne Wade. Again, I just throw okay. all that aside. I cannot put someone as a number one basketball player in this league when, again, when the stage is the brightest, the guy went, and you know this, the guy went into the corner of the three-point line he swung and the stood ball there with to Mario his, Chalmers with pretty much his arms crossed. I mean, he did not he did want not play the well, ball. And how can that person be the number one undisputed player in the L? Because when to me, you don't even want the ball when the biggest prize is up for grabs, the NBA championship. I'm not forgiving him for not playing in the NBA Finals. Like I said, if that's the only flaw to his game. I think he can work on that. If Dirk Nowitzki can improve from that, why can't LeBron James do it? I agree That's with that. Okay. My only thing, but if he doesn't, where me and you disagree the most. If he is, doesn't improve, in his defensive ability. Okay. If That's he it. does improve, though, yeah, I'll think about putting him on number one list. But there's no way right now. So what? If he improves just at that, he'll go from being number just seven again, to number one again. Just at that. But that one aspect of his game takes him from seven to one. No, actually, I'm at number six. Oh, oh, so, can, sorry. Can you, can you write excuse, down excuse, excuse me. Would you excuse listen? Would you play so, this six from one? Seven to one, six to one. No, but but again, if I'm starting a team, I. I want a guy that could put the team on his back and could lead me to wins in any game, whether it's regular season playoffs. And Western Conference finals, he led finals. a Cleveland team. Carmelo that could do that better. There. You said he wins. Better do and, it. And my, one Kevin of my Durant big issues with and Bricks, one of the major problems I have with your list is you have Carmelo Anthony based on your criteria right. ahead of Dwight Howard. Even though Melo goes out in the early rounds every single year. Dwight Howard got his team to the finals. The next year, he got him back to right, the Eastern Conference Finals. Right, but you Conference can't get finals. the ball to Dwight Howard and say, go to, you know, go to work and, uh, and win a championship for us. I mean, he, is, he can't do any post moves. He's going to dunk. He's going to rebound. He is the best by far, a man child, the best center in this league. Right. But I think because he's such a better center than the second guy that we overlooked that and say, oh, he's automatically top five. I don't know. Five, he's pretty dominant. Player. He's not in my top five, but he's probably my number six, to be honest with you. Dwight Howard is an excellent, this dominant is a, basketball player. In my, in my player. opinion, this is a guards league. If you have an unbelievable wing player, you're going to go far in this league. And and you know, Amar Stoudemire is great, but they're not going anywhere without Carmelo. But that hasn't Amar worked is for more Mello, of a perimeter. It still hasn't back. worked for Mello. Right. Is he, he still but let's use Kevin Figures' argument. Again. He had no, all he had was J.R. Smith and uh, Birdman Anderson. He doesn't have enough. Oh, help, he right? had Chauncey Billups. He had some talent oh, on, that, on that Denver Bills team. But you could also make the same argument for Dwight Howard. All right, guys, we're not going to get anywhere. Obviously, uh, our list is uh, can't get any different. Uh, we all have, I think, decent arguments that I'm sure people agree on one side and disagree. So we ask you guys. Who is your top five NBA players? Uh, comment below uh, below this YouTube video right now and uh, tell us who your top five players are. And again, if you like the video and you subscribe to our channel, you will win that new Jerry West book. Which, Jason, you read the whole thing? You thought it was great. I did. I did. There's a review up on LakerNation.com. Yeah, so there's a great review. chance for a plug right there. There's no... Uh, Again, I think there's a lot of stuff coming out of that book that's going to be fun. So. Yeah, I think uh, people are going to be very surprised at the man Jerry West really was. So what I'll say to end this is ESPN had it all wrong, but you two also had it all wrong as well. Right, I'm, I'm sure. Right, my yeah. list will prevail. This is, uh, I seriously doubt it. Kobe Bryant's still the best player in the game. <laughs> Obviously, uh, his uh, throne at the top may not last too much longer, but he still has a little bit more left in the tank. You just watch. He has uh, you know, a new knee now. You saw what he did over in Germany. Oh, yeah, that, that new uh, relative. Stem cell. Stem cell. Sure. The guy's uh, 18 years old again. Voice of Days Fast Break for uh, Kevin Figures and uh, Jace Raleigh. My name is David.